Okay, so for this problem, we're actually going to look at um, a real procedure for weighing astronauts. So we're going to start with two general equations here. Okay, so we got this guy. This is our period. So this is this big T is time. Okay, it's in seconds. And what it means is it's basically like the time it takes for uh, one oscillation cycle, okay, for a block to go through kind of like a full oscillation here. So this is A and this is, you know, it's negative A. So starting at um, starting at its equilibrium point, right? And then coming back to its equilibrium point. Okay, and just completing that uh, twice there. Okay, um, so, all right. Um, we want to know the, the mass of an astronaut and they're kind of like, so they're in space here uh, and they're hanging, okay? from, we're just gonna model it as like this block. So they're hanging from like this chair, right? Um, we have a, we're, we're looking for the weight. Um, so we wanna find the, the mass of the actual astronauts. Um, so they're, they do this process twice, right? Um, so there's an empty chair. We have the mass of the chair. Uh, it's attached to spring and it's allowed to oscillate, right? So it's, it's moving up and down. So what that means is it's gonna start, so if this is its equilibrium position, right? Uh, they're going to um, displace it a certain amount, right? We're going to displace it a little bit here, and then it's going to be allowed to um, oscillate back and forth. Uh, and they're just looking at um, the the uh, the period of that um, oscillation, and we're going to compare the period for both of them. Okay, so this is we're going to say this is empty chair. Okay. And then we're going to do um, like the astronaut, okay. And then non-empty chair, so. so this is the astronaut person who's in the chair. This is a questionable drawing, but okay. So um, we can, by, by comparing these two, we can look at the difference and then figure out the mass of the second object, okay. Uh, so, um, all right, let's look at our first general equation here. So we're gonna put these two together. Um, I'm gonna say T is equal to two pi, right? Or square root of K over M, okay? Uh, and I want to, um, so that's going to be equal to two pi, and then that's going to turn into, uh, if I'm dividing it, it'll be M over K. So this is my general equation. Okay, so we know that when, first off, when the mass is equal to 42, um, 0.5 kilograms, right, for this first one. So this empty chair is 42.5, right? So nothing's in there. Okay, so that's our, our first one. Uh, then uh, the period is equal to 1.30 seconds, okay? Cool, all right. Um, so if that's the case, uh, let's go ahead and uh, plug in and solve for the spring constant. Uh, so we have T is equal to 2 pi, right? Square root of 42.5 uh, kilograms, right? Over K. Um, so if we just rearrange this here, and we know that our T is equal to 1.30 seconds, we're going to get K is equal to uh, 993 Newton uh, meters here. So just our units. So we have a spring constant, okay? And that's our K for this spring, right? Uh, that's how much it's going to push and resist uh, motion. So that's gonna help us solve for the mass of the person. So now let's do this equation again. We know that T is equal to two pi times the square root of M over K. Okay, so for the second one, we also have uh, the time for one cycle. So the period here. So we're gonna do uh, 2.54 seconds, right? Plugging that in for T. Uh, and then we're going to set that equal to 2 pi times the square root of the mass of the person divided by the spring constant that we just found, right? So this is the one that we just found from the previous step. Okay, so at this point, that's it's really just algebra. Um, so if we just rearrange to solve for our, um, we're going to call this MA for the mass of the astronaut. Okay. So our MA here uh, is going to be, so we'll divide one side by 2 pi. Uh, square and then multiply by 993. So if we kind of just move our things around here, 
uh, we should get, um, or sorry, this is MA. So we're, we're going to get one, so 162 point, or so 162 kilograms. Okay. Um, so this mass here is actually the mass of the astronaut and the chair. So they're they're both together, right? So like I I I measured it while it was like oscillating on its own, and then uh, found the spring constant, and then I was like, well, now I have it oscillating with the astronaut. So what I need to do is I need to take the combined, okay, and then I need to subtract uh, the mass of the empty chair. So I need to subtract this m is equal to this guy right here, right? So to figure out the mass, so this is astronaut, I should probably say astronaut plus chair, AC, we'll say AC, and then I'll say MA is equal to MAC, and then we'll call this, I'll call this uh, C. So the mass of the chair, right, for that first one. So MAC minus MC is gonna be equal to the mass of the astronaut. So 162 kilograms, right? minus uh, 42.5 kilograms, right, is going to give me um, 120 kilograms. Okay, and that's how much my astronaut weighs. And I was able to figure that out because I knew how long it took for it to um, complete an oscillation. Uh, and I was able to relate that to the spring constant and then just solve for the masses and figure out the difference between the two. Okay. Uh, so let's move on to a few more complicated questions.